Hello and welcome everybody tuning in today. I'm Billy Mitchell, Editor-in-Chief of FedScoop, and I'm speaking with Jitesh Gai, Informatica's Senior Vice President and General Manager of Data Management. Uh, we're speaking today in conjunction with Informatica's Data in Action Summit. Jitesh, how are you doing today? I'm doing well, Billy. How are you? I'm doing fantastic, and it's a tremendous pleasure to chat with you again. I'm looking forward to all of your uh, great insights on uh, data management and connection to things like cloud and uh, emerging technologies like AI, uh, particularly in the context of federal government. So uh, Jitesh, uh, let's get started today with the cloud. Um, I'd love to discuss how you would characterize the growth of the cloud within the government and how it's uh, complementary to data management. Sure, happy to and uh, thrilled to be here. Thank you for having me, uh, Billy. Uh, with regards to cloud, uh, Everybody knows the cloud, everybody knows the importance of the resiliency, agility, flexibility benefits of the cloud and uh, um, adopting a cloud first, cloud native approach. Specific to the federal government, we of course are seeing uh, rapid focus, rapid acceleration in uh, modernizing and building out a cloud first, cloud native strategy. Where, uh, where does data management fall into this? Uh, in building a cloud first, cloud native strategy, uh, in the on-premises world, you own your servers, you own your applications, you own the databases and the data that resided in all of that infrastructure. Uh, in the cloud, you rent all of that. The only thing you really own is the data. And so to your question about uh, where does data management, what's data management's role in the cloud, it's really to help you ensure secure, trusted access and consumption of your data. Uh, it's to help organizations uh, decommission legacy applications, retire applications, and modernize and move the data within those applications to a cloud-first, cloud-native platform. And it's to help them innovate, drive data science and analytics initiatives uh, in a more modern, reliable, flexible, agile platform. Uh, because of uh, the cloud first cloud native benefits. Great. Jitesh, I'm, I know you're aware that the federal government now requires agencies to have a CDO in place and a, you know, an enter enterprise data strategy to go along with that. Why are those requirements so important to the success of building a data driven culture within agencies based on what you guys in Informatica have seen across different sectors uh, for, for, for quite a while now? Yeah, great question, Billy. You know, it's uh, the, the role of the chief data officer um, is increasingly growing in prominence. And that's not at all surprising, given that the role of data as a strategic asset for organizations has increasingly grown in prominence. Uh, data is a top five initiative for many large uh, Fortune 10, Fortune 100 organizations, the federal government perhaps being in the Fortune 5, if not one. Um, so from that standpoint, to treat data strategically, you need to establish a charter for an executive to formulate a data strategy uh, that enables organizations to strategically implement data management initiatives that are aligned to business outcomes. Why is this exciting? Well, chief data officers were born out of uh, regulatory compliance, primarily in heavily regulated industries such as uh, financial services uh, and healthcare. Uh, what we are seeing, and uh, we recently conducted, jointly conducted a survey with the IDC uh, of uh, a few thousand chief data officers. And uh, what was really clear, one of the key highlights was the shift from being defensive in charter, the chief data officer charter being defensive in support of compliance to being offensive in support of business priorities, in support of innovation, in support of affecting the top line and the bottom line of the business. And so taking that and translating it to the federal government, we're seeing the same things and we're working with a lot of uh, the various departments in the federal government as they become more data driven, as they treat data more strategically uh, and, and as a result establish uh, these uh, data strategy executive roles. Emerging technologies like AI, we know that they're increasingly playing a role in data management. Um, and I know that Informatica refers to this paradigm of AI powered intelligent data management as 
data 4.0. Uh, so I'd love to hear from you why AI is such a game changing capability for data and digital transformation. Yeah, no, just happy to share. Really, data is exponentially growing. Uh, the, the complexity and types of data is also rapidly growing. And equally, if you want to be more data driven, if you want to treat data more strategically, if you want to innovate with data, there's a growing population of users that want access to all of this data. They want it in a timely, accurate manner. They want it to be trusted. Uh, and they want it when they want it. They want to be able to browse and discover and navigate and find the various data sets within an enterprise, within an organization. And uh, you can imagine, we all know that for AI to work, you need good trusted data. But in this backdrop of exponentially growing data, the fragmentation of different data types, the demand of servicing a set of user brace that's exponentially growing from deeply technical to non-technical, while you need data support to support AI. We Informatica leveraging AI and ML, what we call our Claire engine, are leveraging AI and ML to make that trusted data available so that organizations can innovate with it. So leveraging our AI and ML applied to metadata, what we call our Claire engine, we are automating data management so that organizations can keep up with the scale of what is needed as data exponentially grows. We're working closely with the Department of Defense on a few programs to help them build the foundation of intelligent and automated data governance. So to enable end users to access trusted data. Uh, initiatives like the F35 program where uh, they're leveraging our data governance, Axon data governance, our data catalog, our enterprise data catalog capabilities and our data quality capabilities to discover data, to understand, to have an understanding of that data, the business context of how that data is used and relied on, as well as with data quality ensuring and having an understanding of the trustworthiness of the data. AI powered data management, data 4.0 is what is enabling that for enterprises and that's how we are enabling enterprises with data 4.0. Great. Jitesh, let's close today by discussing COVID-19's impact on organizations, both public and private. Um, how has it actually accelerated the use uh, and management of data um, rather than or contrary to what you might have expected prior to such a crisis? Yeah, you know, it's, um, it's, it's a remarkable time for, uh, for all of us. It's a, it's a very unique uh, time for us globally. Uh, amidst these pandemic uh, conditions. And really what we've seen, and it's incredibly encouraging as a, as a data practitioner, is this shift away from gut-based decisions or experience-based decisions to, you know, especially when lives are at stake, to, uh, to fact-based decisions, to data-driven insights. And so frankly, COVID has been a net accelerant Organizations have been talking about data as a priority. Now when lives are at stake, they're not just talking about data being a priority, they're making decisions based on a foundation of trusted data. We're working with the federal government on COVID related initiatives. We're working at the state level uh, as well on specific COVID programs where we're building, we're enabling them leveraging our data management capabilities, our AI and ML applied to data management, uh, helping them with their specific COVID-19 uh, related program. So it's a, it's a remarkable time. Uh, and uh, I, frankly, I'm encouraged that we're all uh, being more, uh, more thoughtful and operating on a more uh, fact-based uh, decision-making decision -making model. While experience is, is great, uh, you know, in God we trust, all, all others must have data is uh, truer now more than ever. That's a great uh, insight to end on. Jitesh, thanks so much for uh, everything today. Uh, it's been a pleasure chatting with you and I look forward to the next time we get together to, to chat, hopefully in person. But until then, I hope you uh, stay safe and healthy. Billy, my pleasure. Thank you for having me and uh, looking forward to the next time. Absolutely.